All right, I wanna talk about my best and favorite science stuff, okay? First, of course, I got products of the day. I'm also gonna mention my least favorite science at the end, and I got a little bit of preview into that so you can take a look at it. There's a couple different science things that I like, a couple different science programs. Um, so I may mention them, but anyway, let's get right to it. First, of course, you know we have products of the day. Also, the science curriculum I'm showing you is it's pretty, it's relatively open and go for a science curriculum. You know, science curriculum, because they have experiments, sometimes they're not that open and go. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll mention another, uh, there's another program moving beyond the page that I'm not showing you here that I've demoed, that I've done another video on. I'll link it at the end and show you to it. So you can see, and if you want like a really, um, it starts at young, it starts age four, you can use it. And it's not above children. Normally I don't like science stuff for kids that young because I think it's above them and they don't need it and they're not gonna sit still. But those lessons are very short, concise, and their experiment box is pretty amazing because it has everything labeled into each little individual boxes. Neoscience also does that. Neoscience, also very good, comes with books. And it's not that expensive for a whole year of science or more, to be honest, you can do it. Whether you want to last one year or two years, it's just for different grades, but it's based on different subjects. So for example, let me explain, because this is the same way. So my favorite science program that I'm going to show you today is Real Science for Kids. So you can do it one of two ways. You can do, they cover five different areas of science. They teach you college age concepts to little children. So it, they cover geology, physics, science, uh, geology, physics, astrology, biology, and I forget the last one, uh, chemistry. And so there's two ways, two programs I'm gonna show you because two ways through Real Science for Kids that you can study them. But first, let's get to the products of the day because you know I digressed, you know I forgot. I wanna show you something that we are reading. This is by, this is by Bonnie Rose Hudson. I love Bonnie Rose Hudson curriculum. I just, I think it's great curriculum. So this is what we're reading. It is not science related. It is, these are like, these are, what are they? They're Aesop's Fables. So this is the first, and I have a ton of Aesop's Fables books. This is the first Aesop Fables book that we're going through now. So this is, for example, it has the story, Milk Maiden or Pale, right? And then it has a picture for it. And then it has, you know, some words on there. So if you have an older child to practice their handwriting. So it's got the lesson here. Do not count your chickens before they are hatched. FYI, I do that all the time. Um, and I shouldn't. And then it's got a crossword puzzle um, that, you know, so you're still talking about the story. You're still focusing on the story. It's got another one you can do as well. So, and then it's got, you can read the story again, but this time it's got the words there, right? So pale as in pale, okay? When you go through and read the story. So, and I do it twice. I do read the stories twice. And I do it like, sometimes I'll do it during breakfast and then we'll do, um, and then we'll do one of the puzzles. And then later on, um, a couple days later, I'll go through the other story. But here, and then it's got comprehensive questions. So this is Aesop Fails. I don't think it's that much. It was like, a, I, I honestly think I bought it. It was like $2, I think. I think, I think, I think. It's 10 fables for first grade. So that's Bonnie Rose Hudson. And I love her curriculum. Next up, we got a book. This is science related. It is Maps and Mapping by Discover Science. Okay, Discover Science, Maps and Mapping. I don't always list things below because then I would, it would just take more time and I don't make enough money in which from these videos in which to do that. But take a look. So these are all the topics that are covered during this. So it's really an introduction for little kids about maps, why we need maps. And I like that it's got a lot of pictures, but not a, it's not real wordy. Those, I don't like curriculums that try to, like family style curriculums too often when they have way too much text to read. Um, because I just prefer to, to, I just don't like doing that if there's not a lot of pictures. So this is Human Body Theater, um, nonfiction review. And so it talks about, so it's a skeleton and he puts on a play, right? So this is the muscles act, act two, the muscular system. So first he was a skeleton and then he put on a costume. So there he is. And then he puts on a costume. So he talks about zoom in thousand times. So it's kind of entertaining. It talks about looking inside cells. So it's very entertaining. I would say grade one and up. Um, I already showed you that in another video. This one, I showed you in another video too, but I just love it. It's the 20th Century Children's Book Treasury by Janet Shulman. And oh, I love it because it just has, so what it does is it takes a bunch of different books. Like I'm talking 
any, like, just tons of famous, famous stories. Like, it starts off with Madeline, and it shrinks the pictures down. So you can get a ton of different, I mean, it's got Bedtime for Francis. It's got classic stories. It's got, we just read Babar just a few minutes ago. Um, we read through Babar, which FYI, I kind of saw in the beginning. So that's my bookmark, because that's where we are. Um, but I'm just going through it, and it's just got, oh, the snatches. I like that one. So it's just got, oh, Dirty Harry. I see Harry the Dirty Dog. So if you just have this, you could honestly get rid of like 25 books. Okay, so let's talk. So science I don't like we're going to do at the end. Science I do like. Let me show you. So there's two ways to do this. This is way one. And these are discussing the five areas of science. This is way number one. This is, it's a yearly thing. You know, year one, year two. And, and so this would be year one. So if you wanted to go year by year. So say you don't have a science curriculum yet that you like and you want to start at year one, you can start at grade one. I mean, so this is the teacher's manual, right? So you look through. Now look at this. This is experiments at a glance. So you need, for example, experiments like a non-living object to observe, okay? A living object to observe. Very, and colored pencils. So these experiments are not super complicated, all right? This one, you know, a toy car, stiff cardboard, and marshmallows. So nothing is like super crazy, right? What do you need here? A baseball or similar object, balloon, water, a piece of string, color pencils. So nothing crazy. So let's take, this is the laboratory notebook. Again, very simple. Experiment five, what will happen? And then you're just going through just some questions. So your child has to be old enough to write, or if you have a child that, you know, is neurodiverse, you can write for them. Neurodiverse children have very, you know, it's not easy for them to write, right? So number five, what will happen if you add B to D? So I know you need context. So did the lemon juice react with the vinegar? Did the lemon juice react with the milk? Did the lemon juice react with the baking soda? Did the vinegar react with the milk to the vinegar? So an interesting experiment, but not super complicated, right? Okay. Let's look at, this is the textbook. This is the textbook that you're reading. I've already started. This one, I started reading with my kid and then I switched because these are, I wanna say about 180 bucks a year and I found a cheaper way to do it. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. But these also come with final exams if you want. They come with study sheets as well. You don't have to use them, but um, the study sheet I love too. In uh, previous videos, I've shown you the study sheet. So let's see, you're gonna talk about chemistry. Okay, first you're talking about what is science? What is chemistry? What is biology? What is physics? What is geology? What is astronomy? All right, so let's look at, is it overwhelming, the introduction? So see, it's not that over, writing is big. You read it, there's not a ton of text. It's very, I wanna say it's minimalist in the sense that there's just not a lot of the history of science. There's not a lot of wasted time. I don't like wasted time. I hate wasted time as a matter of fact. So building blocks of science. It explains the scientific method. It explains how science needs to hold up to questioning. If you cannot question science, then, you know, then it's not good enough. It has to hold up to the rigors of questioning. What is chemistry? Okay, introduction to chemistry. So what is chemistry? Chemical processes, things like that, all right? So very, you know what I mean? A great program, great program. Goes through all the different areas, all right, of science, right? Okay, so you're with me so far. Now, let me take you back. There's another way to learn. They have it from K through, what is this? K through four and then four through eight. So for middle school, I got the K through four. So what we just looked at was year by year. What we're looking at now is, this is the focus on series. This is the building blocks. This is the focus on, look at this, elementary K through four, chemistry. Okay, so it again has the teacher's manual. It again has the laboratory manual. Now they have one, so it's one book for chemistry. One book, if I can pull it out here, one book for astronomy. All right, so you're getting this. It's got one book for every area, for biology, for that. Okay, so this is all you need. So if you wanted a refresher before they went into middle school or you're in middle school before you start them on high school or whatever, if you want a refresher, this is... But if you just haven't taught them yet, is what I mean. Or if you haven't taught them yet. So take a look at this. All right. So once again, what is chemistry? Chemist toolbox. 
atoms, molecules. Let me show you this because I have the books that also go along with it. They, they don't go along, but I bought the book separately. I showed you in a bunch of different videos. They're just books you can buy, but it's the same concept I'm about to show you. Okay, so page 18, 18, 18. So atoms, types of atoms, atoms are similar, atoms are different, summary, and things, some things to think about. So what are atoms? Okay, so you can get this or you can get the books. The books is kind of, kind of similar to this. They're just, I don't want to call them storybooks. They're not story, but they're essentially books of this. If you didn't want to get um, a study unit, but maybe you have another program you're using, but you love how easily they explain stuff to. I have, so anyway, I have the books. <laughs> I wish I had brought them in now that I'm talking about them. Um, but you don't, it's <laughs> whatever. It's either you do this or the books. You don't need both. The books are their little, oh, all right. I got the books that I keep talking about. I should have got them before. So let me show you. So this is the biology. Okay. So here photosynthesis. So when I say the books, bacteria and archaea, protozoa, if that's how you say it, I don't even know. So they're, see, look at, they're very simple books that explain these concepts, right? Also real science for kids. But again, it's in these sets of books. You don't need both. Um, I just, I happen to have both. Okay. So chemistry. So anyway, that's it. It's got certain reactions to follow. Mixtures, mixing, dissolving, soap, summary, things to think about. Some mixtures, dissolving. Again, it's got your experiments here, your teacher's manual. Should be, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, these are your experiments. Now, what's great about these is it teaches you everything. Th this thing is that it, this type of learning, I don't know what you call it. Um, this focus on series is it teaches you everything you need that is important to learn without wasted time, right? So then you can go on and before you do this, like I'm probably going to do a grade two or three um, with my kids because I really want them to remember it. But um, then you can do, you can do different study units then, different study units. So chemistry every day, again, it's got the materials you needed, watercolor paints, water in a container, paintbrush, several pieces of paper to paint on scissors and tape. So let's check out this experiment. So this is the just for fun. So those materials needed are the just for fun. Help your students use watercolors to observe how colors mix. Have them notice how colors change and which colors mixed together will make black, okay? So, and then in that, of course, this is their laboratory notebook. Let's go and see chemistry every day, right? So this is their notebook that they're gonna be keeping notes in. So it's got this, observe it. These are talking about some of the things you do every day and it gives you a list in the teacher's manual about what things are actually chemical processes that you didn't know, like brushing your teeth. Okay, do you use chemistry when cooking with food? Why or why not? Do you use chemistry when you eat food? Do you use chemistry when you ride in the car? Why or why not? Okay, so now this is just for fun. Mix blue and red together. What color did you get? Mix blue and yellow together. What color did you get? Okay, so you see we're starting experimenting and we're recording our answers and we can do our paint mixtures down there if we want to. Okay, so anyway, so it's got them for astronomy. I'll give you a preview into the astronomy. Um, the... the textbook here earth's home in space earth is a planet moons and tides the sun and weather eclipses summary some things to think about all right so now because these all are very compact they cover just the five topics um that that we're covering it doesn't have a lot of I don't know, extra wasted time stuff. I don't know what you call that. So you can do a bunch of study units. If your child likes ants, you can deep dive into ants. If your child likes this. So so it just gives you a lot of freedom to really explore the science see things that your kids like. Let me show you the program that I do not like. And you, if you've watched before, you know I don't like this program, okay? Some people love it, good for them. That's great. I don't like it because I hate wasted time. I just don't like it. Let me show you. Wow. So this is sunlight. This is science level B experiments. So you're covering matter, ecosystems, earth systems, and engineering design. Okay. So first problem I have with this book and with this program is look how this is the experiment book. So this is your level B experiment. But see how there's a page in here that is required? The test data chart. Do you see that? It's a test data chart. Throughout here, there are occasionally things that you need to cut out and use. Okay, fine. In the 
in the teacher's manual, I guess you call it the teacher's manual, there's also printables that you need for the, every student. In the student packet, there are things that you also need for the student packet. So in order to teach a student, it's almost like, like you have to get one of these. Like, I don't know if they rectified this problem yet. So you have to buy, what, one of these for each student just so you have a couple of these pages in here. Some of them you can copy. Like, some of them you can copy. So zoo plans and some of these you can, you know what I mean, copy nowadays with printers and stuff. But, like, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to do that um, if you need one for each student. Like, these I imagine you're not writing on, so you don't need it. Um, this you can just easily copy. So there is that, okay? So if you want to, some of them you can copy, but some of them, like in the kindergarten book, you can't. Now let me tell you something else that bothers me about this program. I'm not saying it's not an, like, I'm not saying it's not going to educate your child. But first of all, it's a lot of work. Four or five days of science a week to me is way too much, especially year after year after year after year. So these are the materials, okay? If it has a K, that means it comes in the science box. Now look how this is lesson nine. Look at these materials. Three small cups, two sheets of aluminum foil, magnifying glass, two clothespins, styrofoam cup, and masking tape. You would think that's not a big deal. You open it up and you track down those things. Moving beyond the page has all those things in one bag and labeled. Neoscience, all those things in one bag and labeled with the lesson, with the corresponding lesson number. This has a giant box that you open with, now picture it, if there's how many weeks of experiments? Maybe we're going on 30 weeks of experiments. Well then, picture 30 times five, all mixed into one box and all dumped into a box. It's a little overwhelming. Plus the four and five days of study is a little overwhelming if you ask me. Okay, and then you need to gather on your own two crayons and contrast and colors, small handheld pencil sharpener, old Roche wig, microwavable roll, microwave, okay, water, hammer, permanent marker. So it's not like, it, it's not the toughest things to get. And then it walks you through the process of doing it, whatever it is. This is um, igneous rock things that you're doing. So anyway, I had the kindergarten, I have A, I have B, and I haven't used a lick of it. It is so overwhelming to, can a building supply, uh, so, so look, this is just two packets of gelatin, 40 toothpicks that come in the container, so not too bad, right? Warm and cold water to make gelatin, and then a pan, and then a bag of miniature marshmallows, and then, so this is stuff you have to do ahead of time, so there is a lot more prep involved in the sunlight book. There's a lot more prep involved. Um, I'm not saying it's not interesting to a child. I, that's not what I'm saying. Let me show you some pages. Where do animals live? Um, where do they do? So, but it's just on top of this, getting the student packet plus, like, I just don't understand why they wouldn't have everything you need for the student in the stupid, in the student packet, right? Another thing I don't like about sunlight is, so let's open this for a second. Let me open this table of contents. Let me open it and let me show you something. This is, I get that it's Sunlight Company and that like there's nothing Christian about this. So there's one quote and I think it's in the teacher's manual that is Christian at, in the beginning. But other than that, there's nothing in here about God. So if you're looking at sunlight and you're like, oh, I want to teach my kid. You know what I mean? I want God involved in science. It's not in here. I mean, it's not in these either. But this company, this company is not called Sunlight, S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T. So anyway, that is, that is my complaint. So these, so Sunlight and Bookshark are the same company. So either or, um, it's the exact same program. It's the exact same program, that same box, the exact same stuff. The only thing is there's one question quote on the beginning of the teacher's manual, if I recall correctly, the teacher's guide, I think they call it. Okay. So there you go. That is my big complaint. I know I feel bad because a lot of people do like it and good for you. I mean, if you have that time and you're that organized and you feel like doing that, I good on you. Your kids love it. Great. I do not need to do like in kindergarten. They have like a, a, a few, like a couple weeks study on ants and stuff. Like unless your child has a specific love of ants, it's not something I really want to dive into. And that's why I like real science for kids because they're not going to spend a few weeks studying about ants. So you can do that on your own. If they love ants, if they love the ocean, if they love whatever, you can do study units and delve into that. Kids learn so well with study units. So that's why this is just, 
It's just one of my favorite programs. All right, take care. Bye bye. Can you say please like and subscribe? Please like you like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>